I don't know that much about Bobby. I've asked where it came from and why it's there, but um, probably if anything about this turn in his life, uh, it raised my eyebrows a little bit. Well, why would you want to put a persona out there that is different than who you really are? Is it that this isn't where you wanted to be? Or, and maybe some of it is that. Going to, <clears throat> going to some studio in LA. Going to go uh, get some mixes on, on a lot of the songs. Hopefully they're the final mixes. Um, I've gotten a few mixes throughout the process, but <clears throat> it's just not the sound I was looking for. So going to go try this one out. And uh, I think this is going to be the one. Like when I do it, like and I'm just like, I'm just trying to fuck with shit till something sounds cool. Yeah. But like you actually know what you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> shit fucking touches me every time I hear it. Like at the end, uh -huh. we talk. So I took a, a clip of them playing in the tub, and then one time I took them to the amusement park, and uh, somebody was filming it for me. But I took her on this ride where she goes up and down at the very end. She goes, uh, uh, she goes, Daddy, Daddy, if I get scared, will you tell me that it's okay? I was like, Oh my fucking god. You cry. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I said I will. Damn. Yeah. Music is a business. It's just like football. So once you once you understand the business side of it, your love for the game kind of goes away because all of that business stuff just gets in the way. If the goal is to sell and just to be a super popular artist, that would compromise what my uh, musicianship or what my art is to begin with. Opinions are all gonna be everywhere. It's a bell curve. That's just life. Um, so I don't, I'm not above criticism. I, I come from one of the most criticized sports in the country. So I know people will critique it. I know people will like it. I know people will hate it. I've, see, I see it all already. I've been a writer since I was a kid. I've books and books and books of just journals that I've written in via music, plays, short stories. Like I just, I've been a writer my whole life. I know it's very cliche for athletes to venture into music. But none of that applies to me, cause I, <laughs> cause like once you hear it, you'll see the difference. It's the difference between me and really other artists that are doing it, that are artists today, mm -hmm. and you'll and you'll hear it. Um, and so that's how confident I am about it, and it's it's what I love to do. So whether anybody likes it or not, I'm gonna continue to do right. this. You hear athletes say it all the time that drive and that passion that they had to get them to the point where they're at, and their football career just doesn't die as soon as you turn in your retirement paper. Mm -hmm. It goes somewhere else. You either go crazy or you put it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And uh, luckily, I've, I've had avenues of music that let me channel that ambition somewhere else. <laughs> my hair's still wet? A little bit, dog. What's up, my man? How'd you feel about it? <laughs> Their way to open up, man. <laughs> nah, if it was good, man. Um, I don't ever get excited about meetings anymore just because it's like, I don't know, like you give people ideas, but nobody, like, there's no, there's no way, they want your business. So it's like, there's no way of telling if they had a passion for what you do. But like from the creative perspective, it's like, I just don't really give a fuck if anybody likes it or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Once you start getting into the, man, people are going like this, or people are going like, like that's when I want out. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah because then it's not genuine anymore. You're just not another person saying, oh, I can do this because I have a platform. This is me. And I, f I feel you. I don't know. That's like, we have to wait. I don't know. All I do know is that I have put my life into this shit. 